Guys, thought I'd show you guys a little video on my 1983 Toyota Corolla wagon. Um, I found it from I want to say the third owner. It's uh, it's had some, you know, had some love done to it. I did a lot of work on the engine and stuff, just kind of keeping it clean. Painted the valve cover. I was trying to do a little blue thing, but not sure if I'm going to paint the whole car. But it could use some paint. Runs really good. Did an aftermarket aluminum radiator. Kept the clutch fan. You know, tiny belt water pump done. Runs and drives great. It's a manual. It has a factory manual steering rack in it. It has the uh, put a newer style starter in it. Koito JDM H4 housings with the HIDs. Just some some reps, you know. They look nice. The factory uh, it had the factory steel 13-inch wheels on it, and I ended up getting the snowflakes for it, and then I got these. So the cap actually fits from the snowflake. Pretty nice. The whole car around it pretty clean it's had some body work done I can tell the paint you know and there's a little dent right there from something but it's it's not that bad of a dent the color change you can see I did LED upgrade on everything on the outside so it's got uh, I didn't do LEDs in here yet I wasn't sure what to do on those yet but these are LED, LED brake lights, light slave light. Did the, the extended shifter. It's the T3. It's pretty nice, short shifter, extended. Dash is like mint condition, black. Mint. I I keep a car visor in here because it's just so nice. 233,000 miles. Factory uh, add-on. It has the the clock. Super rare. Factory radio and factory tape. This is the add-on tape thing bolts in not all the corollas came with it i'm there is one other atom that i don't have it's this little there's a little cubby that goes right here i've been looking for that <clears throat> but it's super rare really clean interior black and gray door panels uh the only panel that has a little blem is this one it's got a little blemish right there which i've been looking for a panel and this seat's got a little tiny tear there carpet's perfect this tape thing has a little like tray under here the tape works and I have the auxiliary cord that um, I plug in there AC still works and the heater works great too I looked at the cigarette lighter and look at that thing never been used it's brand new so this car has been a great little car. I get about 35 miles a gallon. Runs really good. I had to buy um, the diaphragm for the car carburetor, the secondary one, and the accelerator pump. I just did that. I think someone did a head gasket on it because the thing, like, the coolant looked brand new when I got it. It had been sitting for about five years in a field. And my brother had done some work for the guy, and the guy had it in his yard, and I got it, and it had the title and everything. There's the interior. The interior was really dirty when I got it, because this was a storage unit, and they had a bunch of parts in the car. They had stickers all over it. It's got the factory roof rack. It's got the old school 
Toyota mud flaps. Been looking for the rain visors for it, just to add that. I got rid of the mirrors because the mirrors were kind of probably, I mean, those were like the, the junkiest part about the car. They just wobble around and they were, um, they were just really worn out. So I threw those away, made these plates, and then I just got these like cheaper stuff. Well, they're about, these are about 80 bucks. But these are really nice. You can actually see out of these. They're a solid mount. But they're adjustable by you push on the... That. It's just got a ball joint that moves it. But super adjustable. Good to see. Um, I've only done a few other things. The T I went and through and fixed the wipers. And it was an automatic, so I did the manual swap see the little cable there and uh, just put a T50 from an A86 um, did an igniter started having igniter issues but I put a new igniter in it and then I got these wires as well NGK I run the iridium um, spark plugs on it runs freaking great this thing runs amazing I try to daily this thing as much as I can. Uh, I'm looking for camber plates next so I just want to lower it. It's too high. It's truck high right now. But I gotta roll the fenders in the rear and front and everything and then maybe get a little lip. And I'll show you the HIDs. The antenna is perfect. It's not even broken. Check out this radio. These speakers too. They're just... It's the new stylish new You gotta turn the knob, you know? That old school feel. It's crazy because it has the volume up here. So you, I usually put this on about half. But when you have the tape, this has a better amplifier in the tape. So it uses this one as the main amp. So those are the stock speakers too. I looked at them, they're like perfect. Like I don't even think the guy used the radio in this car. It's even got a low fuel light. Obviously it's out of gas right now. All the lights work on the dash. Speedo works great. Headliner is like perfect condition crazy how clean this little car is I've had some offers on it but I just I don't know man I just can't let this thing go it's too nice I have an 8.6 Corolla that I'm building and I'd rather just hold on to this there is some little dirtiness here and there that needs to be cleaned but I'm afraid to put any pressure on this see it's a little dirty right here all the windows work good. It's got the little vents. It's got these little vents here. You can open and close them. Still has the, the little honker horn. I added this little plate from an older Toyota. Looks pretty tight. And I did, um, I actually did glitter on this shifter. It's just a shifter I had, but it's got, I put a uh, rainbow flake on it. I need pedal pads. I put new pedal pads on there. That, the Toyota. It's not done yet. If I lower it and tint the windows, I think it's going to be really nice. Just trying to keep it keep it nice, you guys. Let's see some more wagons, man. Got to keep the wagons alive. Want to see some more wagons out there. It doesn't matter what year. As long as it's a wagon, man, those things are dying. At least for Toyotas, anyway. Here's the HIDs, guys. I'll show you those. They're the high-low HID. So bright. I 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little video of this wagon. 83 AE72 Toyota Corolla wagon. Till next time, guys, take it easy. Have a good one.